video, we're going to be looking at the interactions between Python functions and how it all works. And we're going to play a little game called three, three, well, can you talk three cup Monty? So three cup Monty is when you have those three cups, you put a ball under one, you shuffle it up and the person has to guess. And so we're going to create a really basic one here in Python, just to show you how Python, to show you how Python functions uh, interact. So let's, uh, let's start off with kind of some basic logic things we need to know. So if I were to create a list, we'll call it cards, right? One to eight, I can bring in from random, I can import shuffle, okay? And if I call shuffle on my cards, I run it, I check my cards now, and you can see they are mixed up, they've been shuffled up. However, there is one limitation to this. Let's say I have result, and I'm gonna set it to equal shuffle cards. I run that and I try and run results. I get nothing back. Why? Because shuffle cards doesn't actually return anything. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind that that basically function itself does not return anything. There is a way to work around it. What you would do is basically create a function. So we'll try we'll create one here called shuffle list. Okay, we're gonna take in cards what we created before, and we'll run shuffle on the cards. So we had before and we will return cards. And so now when I go results, let's see results equals a shuffle list. Okay, it's gonna take in cards, we run that and I check results. I now actually get results that are shuffled up. All right, so it makes sense. So the shuffle, uh, the little shuffle built in function within Python doesn't return anything. So you actually have to create another function that's going to return something for you. Cool, easy enough. Let's clear this out of the way. And so let's actually start building our three card Monty game. So we'll start it off. I'll create a new list. I'm gonna call it Monty. And it's gonna have an X. It's gonna have an O if you get it right. And it's gonna have another X if you get it wrong. All right, so three cards. The whole goal is to guess where the O is and we're gonna say that's our ball. All right, Monty and let's create a function for the player's guess. So the first thing we need to do, so we'll create a player guess function. So I'm gonna take anything in. We'll have the guess be an empty string because what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign their guess to that empty string. So we'll create an empty string. And what we'll do is we'll have the guess as an input function. So we actually want the user's input and it's gonna say pick a uh, pick a cup by number, zero, one, or two, all right? So how do we stop a person from, I don't know, I'm guessing 500 or six or eight or a number that basically we don't want here? We, it's three cup Monty, you can only pick through, through uh, three cups. So what we'll do is we'll actually create a while function. So while guess not in, okay, zero, one, or two, okay. So by using this while guess not in this number, we're basically saying if the if the guess isn't within those one, two, or one, zero, one, or two, we're gonna keep repeating the loop. Not zero, one, two, repeat the loop. Repeat the loop until we get the guess that we're looking to see, so zero, one, or two. Make sense? Okay. Perfect. And then what we want to do is return, return the integer of guess. And so why do we have to return an integer? Well, the input function, no matter what, will default to return a string. <clears throat> so if we were to return the string zero, the string one, the string two, and let's say we wanted to index later on, well, you can't index based on the string and he's index based on the integer. So we're going to set it right away to be our integer. We'll set it to guess. Okay. And let's test this function to make it work. So we'll run player guess, pick a number to one, two, or uh, zero, one, or two. We'll go four. Doesn't work. We'll try five. Keeps looping. We'll do two. Perfect. It returns my guess as an integer. Good. So we know that works. Now the next thing we want to do is create a function that can actually check the guess. So to make sure, so we'll basically see if the guess matches up with what um, the Monty is. And so this check guess is gonna take in two things. It's gonna take in our Monty. So it's gonna take in this list up here that we created, but also it's going to take in 
guess. And now guess, we know we get guess from this player guess function. So we run the player guess function to return guess, and we're gonna take guess from it, okay? Makes sense? And so let's create this function. So if the Monty, we index the guess. So again, this indexing piece is why we set the integer, why we set guess to be an integer previously, because we're gonna index it based on it. So we're gonna take the Monty and we're gonna say, okay, they guess two. So we're gonna index position two and we're gonna check to see if it's the zero or if it's the ball. So we'll do if the guess is equal to zero. Okay, so it's equal to the ball based on that index. We're gonna say, we're gonna print, print correct. Okay, so correct, you did it, you guessed right. But if they didn't guess right, else, what we're gonna do is we're gonna print wrong cup, okay? Wrong cup. And we're also going to print the Monty itself. That way they can see, okay, I guessed uh, index one. It was actually index two. They're gonna say, you've got the wrong cup and it's gonna print where the balls is actually located. Cool. All right, let's we'll clean this up really quick. Okay, so we have our player guess and we have our check guess. So now what do we gotta do? Well, what do we want to do? So what I gotta do, first of all, is I gotta put in my Monty. Okay, so we're gonna put this all in one line so we can run it all together. What do I need to do next? Well, I need to, after I get my Monty, I need to shuffle it. And if we remember before, we had this shuffle list function, then when we run it, oops, I guess I put something in it, put in the Monty, I run it, I get this shuffled list. Remember, we create that function. So with this created function, we can actually assign it. So what I wanna do is, we're gonna bring in my Monty. Okay, so I got my Monty. I'm going to bring in my shuffle list. So we're gonna call this shuffled Monty is gonna to equal to shuffle list, that function we created before. And it's gonna take in Monty, okay? So we get our Monty and we shuffle it. Well, what do we need to do it next? Well, we need the player's guess. So we're gonna take guess and we're gonna set it to equal the player guess, okay? So when it runs that function, it's gonna return guess, but we're setting the value guess to also return it. That way we can actually, we can work with it, okay? And the last thing we wanna do is to check the guess. So we have check guess. So check guess, we will take in our shuffled Monty and we will take in our guess. And that should hopefully give us what we need. All right, so let's, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so I run it. I have pick up one, two, zero, one, or two. Let's try four, three, good. Let's try two. And there it works. I can see I picked cup two, but again, remember we index zero, one, or two. So not there, not there. It should have been there. Let's run this again to make sure it works. We'll do one, wrong cup. Run it again, see if I can eventually get it right. Wrong cup. There's only so many answers here. Correct, there we go. Pick the right cup.